So welcome back. We're going to deal with the second piece of this assembly now, the cloak. So without SMP or HTT cloth, personally, I think these cloaks look weird and that people shouldn't make them in outfits because they just kind of sit there and hug the body in weird ways that cloaks aren't supposed to. But um, here's a technique for getting the most you can out of these things without actually copying over some HTT physics. That'll be a topic for another video in the future. Anyway, open up your previously created project for the cloak. And since you saved it with no reference, as there's not supposed to be, you're going to load in, in this case, just a CVBE will work because we're not giving it any weights that it doesn't already have. And in terms of the bones that it comes with, it already has clavicle, the spine, and that'll basically determine where it sits in game on the person. So by default, it's going to sit like this for a default body, but without any con conforming of the body, no matter what you change your preset to, it's going to be that exact same shape. So you'll get that. It's kind of, yeah, it's okay, I guess, but sometimes, you know, it gets too far away. So what we'll do is just a basic conform all, use even movement, and we'll turn the radius extremely high. So now it'll keep, it, it'll keep its basic shape for the most part, but it'll stay kind of where it's supposed to relative to the body. So the only things we're really going to have to worry about in terms of sliders are the things that affect where the back is. So just kind of here not really the arm so much, maybe the back itself and the waist a little bit, but just test it to make sure it doesn't look too weird. And do that the same way by clicking the different sliders. Try and go as extreme as you can to see what the worst case will look like. All right, that's not too bad. So that actually looks all right. I'll test mine. And it looks okay. So we'll save this and that'll be considered finalized. So save the project just to check the settings. And since we add the reference back in, we're also going to have to unclick it a second time. So there we go. And that's it. And that covers the cloak pretty much. Don't forget to close down body slide and check to make sure that the cloak itself changes with the sliders. So good. Next step in these conversions is to modify the ESP and we'll cover that in the next video.